So I just want to show you real quick how to do um, make programs using key groups. And basically the key groups are going to be each sound. You can either have them just on one key, one after another. Or you can have uh, one key group that covers a group of keys. Um, and then another key group that covers a group of keys. Um, that's really why they call them key groups. Because you have one key assigned to um a sample and that sample will go across a group of keys most cases though i use it with just one key one sample and then the next key another sample and so on um, so let me show you how to set those up i have a few samples loaded here click sample So first thing, the programs are under single or multi. Single just means that you want to set up a single program. And multi is for multiple programs. So you can set up maybe this one here. I'm going to set up with all these samples. And it's really, if I set up a single, I'm just good to play um, just those samples. I can set up a large single. And that's going to basically um, have just more key groups and it'll be all the samples plus drums and some bass maybe. But that's where really the multi comes in where um, you can set up uh, multiple programs and you can edit them easier just as you'll see when we edit the samples <clears throat> in the key groups and the single it's the same idea. It's easier to edit all the samples in a program, and it's easier to edit all the programs in a multi. So that's why they have it set up like that. Um, we're just gonna do a single program. So single, edit. Now it just starts off usually with your blank program, unless you have your setup differently. But when you load the um, system disk it comes with a test program and that's because there's no way to create a program so the system starts you off with one and you make copies of it um, so first thing you want to do is you want to go um, to single edit name this is where you're going to name it I'm going to just name it test one so let me go back and take off all this oops copy so now it's test one you want to make sure that the um, the programs you have are not on the same program uh, number or MIDI channel so press down you'll see the program number two and MIDI channel one so if I have a MIDI keyboard or right now I'm using MPC I want to make sure that this is on program uh, if this is on program two then my keyboard or MPC needs to be on program two I want it to actually be program one, so just to make it easy, and that means I gotta go up to the test program, and oh, that's already on program two, so they're not conflicting. They were originally; they were both on two. So now only the one program will play. Um, first thing you want to do when you're setting up a program is to set up the first key group, and uh, pretty much set up the range of that and after that you can copy that and just adjust the range down the keyboard as you go so let's start with that um, once you're at single edit and you have your program you just want to go down you'll see that there's uh, the monitor section your polyphony is 32 um, sometimes you may want to drop it down to one whatever the situation you may need it on three who knows that's up to you um, norm priority I'm not really too sure I haven't gone over that I just always leave it at normal um, down key group crossfade so crossfade so you can actually fade them uh, into each other so they play a little more seamlessly mono legato basically is uh, similar to having uh, uh, 
uh, what's it? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going blank. M mono or uh, single polyphony. Uh, not mono, uh, single polyphony, basically, to where only one uh, note can play at each time. So this is where you transpose. This is where you can turn the volume up or down based on the velocity. Then you have your pan, left and right. <clears throat> This is where you have your modulation, your LFO. So we want to go to key groups. So um, it takes a bit to go down to them, but you can use this button to make it faster. Let's see. Yeah, so it's only like four press key presses instead of like eight. But yeah, you want to get to number of key groups. First thing you want to do is press down and set up your first key group. Uh, mine's going to be on c sharp one that is actually the first pad of the first bank on it on my mpc all right i'm gonna go down i'm going to go to zone assign so zone assign here uh there's more than one zone available that's if you want to layer sounds for multi sampling or snares or whatever so that's a sample that's no longer available I'm gonna switch it over to new one that's how you select your sample so now new one is assigned to key group one which is on the first pad of my MPC it's actually <clears throat> at a way too low of a pitch because I have it set up to where it stretches the sample and the original sample was at C3, so it's at a lower key of C sharp one, so it's gonna be pitched down and slow. The way you switch that up is you go to keyboard or zone one keyboard track. <clears throat> you can either have a track, which means it's gonna pitch down the keyboard, or you can have it constant, where it's just gonna constantly be the same pitch. Now that we've switched it to that, even though it's further down the keyboard, it still plays at the um, original pitch. So the next thing we want to do, now that we have key group one set up with the track and everything, um, we're gonna go back up to how many key groups we want, number of key groups, and we're gonna actually make a total of five because we want five, so copy makes two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go down to span, and I have to set mine up <clears throat> so the next um, key is uh, C1 and on your keyboard it'll go a little more in order but uh, for me you'll see it goes from C sharp 1 to C1 and then the next one is actually F sharp 1 so I messed up here it's key group 1 we want that one back on C sharp one. This outer will move it to key group two, and that's the one we want on C one. Key group three is gonna be on F sharp one. And key group four is gonna be on A sharp four. And then five is gonna be on E1. So let's set up five, E1. And then, we're gonna assign, now that we have all the key groups and where they're at on the MPC or keyboard, we're gonna assign samples to each of those groups. So go back to key group two, new two, key group three, new three, key group four, new four, key group five, new five. So now I have all triggering from my MPC. And that is the basic 
um, basic program. That's it. Um, if I wanted to, what I can do is just say key group five, go back up to span, and key group five can go from let's see here E1 to whatever, pretty much all of them. Let's do all of them. So now I have just a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, all the keys. The whole span is key uh, key group five, but um, they're all the same pitch because I put constant on the keyboard. So let me switch this to track, and now. So that's really why they call them key groups. I'm gonna put it back so it's the same pitch. Is because if I wanted to, as you see, I did with key group five, is I made a group of keys, all share that sample, and then pitched them all across. So now I'm gonna put this back to E1, and it's just gonna be one sample on one key E1. Oh. So that's the basics. So now what you can do is, is you can go through this and either add modulation or um, you can tune each sample or you can mess with a few different envelopes. I haven't really gone through all the envelopes yet, but um, they work pretty well and they have some presets. So I'm going to go ahead and end it now, but maybe I'll do another video where it goes over some of the um, different things you can edit. So real quickly, I'll just show you the... Um, if you tap down a bit, what's it doing in the filter? There's a filter at. So here I like this one, the filter, with the frequency and the resonance. So you have... You can kind of darken it up a little bit if you want to. I never mess with it, but... You can use the resonant, uh, resonance to... But yeah, so basically what you do is you set up key group five and then this is, you just quickly edit it. Now you can go over to four. And you can quickly, quickly edit all of your samples. Those were the frequencies. Up here was the um, see key group two. Attack and then change the attack at key group three. And then maybe you want to go to key group four and take down all of the decay and all the sustain. back to key group one and just try to take that one max so it fades in take these down so I just quickly mess with all the envelopes and there's more stuff here too let's see Frequency, keyboard, track, filter mod. I don't really mess with all these, but let's see, envelope two, template. So key group two. These are basically just different envelopes. I think it doesn't seem to be doing too much to it because I think I gotta hook this up. But yeah, you can go through all those. Where's the other one? Pitch mod. See how that works.
She was an LFOBS. Oh shit at the beginning, wasn't it? Nope. Guess not. But yeah, you get the point. You gotta kinda go through all that. And um this one up here, the ESI four thousand has some pretty cool LFO stuff that I just figured out quickly. It's more a little intuitive. But yeah, it's got it on this too. Uh, once I figure those out more, I'll probably do a video on those. Thanks.